Okay, hello traders. So um, today is 27 August, um, it's Tuesday. Hope you're having a good trading week so far. Okay, we just had a phenomenal Monday. All right, so you've been following our signals, you'll know that uh, we made like 108 pips just yesterday alone. I mean, this market is so, you know, easy to trade. So today we thought we just record a short video talking about uh, the oil trade that we took because uh, I think a lot of people was a bit curious how we took this trade and uh, why we took this trade. So uh, this was a trade sent to uh, premium subscribers. Uh, I mean, it's okay if you miss this trade. There's always other opportunities, right? Uh, it's fine. But uh, we thought that it would be good to share with you um, the thought process behind why we took the trade. Okay, so let's just jump into the charts. So um, this is oil, as you can see, crude oil, US oil, um, in the H4 time frame. So uh, if you have not watched our previous video about the concept of uh, fixed support levels, right, uh, or rather fake outs, actually we haven't really recorded a video on fake outs, maybe we will, but um, it kind of, uh, I think our previous videos we talked a lot about uh, uh, price will always go to where the stop loss are. Okay, uh, it's, it's just the way the market is because you always remember in trading it's about like, uh, it's a numbers game. So what do I mean by numbers game? Uh, what I mean is that uh, for me to make money, you have to lose money, okay? Uh, it's just like that because can, it's not possible that everyone is making money when you are buying. Someone must actually sell it to you in order for you to have your position. Okay, so if you look over here, this is the recent, uh, one of the swing lows. So if you cannot see it, you just switch the line chart, you know that this is a swing low and this is a swing low. So naturally, there's a lot of stop loss orders over here. Okay, What you have is a lot of people who are buying, um, kind of like, uh, just a moment, you are buying in this region, okay, or perhaps even here, you're putting a stop loss over here. So what happens? Price would not stop at this level because it has to remove, take out the stop losses, right? So it pushed below, okay, if you notice this, right it pushes below quite significantly okay more than stopping out people who actually traded this uh, breakout they say oh this support is broken oh let's short it down right uh, let's short it they are also stop out okay so this is the trap this is what uh, we like to call a, a kind of like a bear trap okay so that was why uh, we, we entered somewhere here okay uh, targeting the recent uh, structural lows which is here okay so let me just show you uh, more details about why we took the trade. So I can't recall the exact candle, but I think we long somewhere here, somewhere when price was about here, about 53.4, 53.4 something, I can't recall. But basically we were saying, okay, hey, look, this, this, uh, this is a fake breakout. Okay, we, we're going back to the recent lows. So it's not difficult to look left, okay, if you look left and you see structure over here. Okay, structure here and here, okay. You see it once here, you see it touch here again, touch here. So as we always say, if you cannot see, change to the line chart, right? Then uh, draw some levels. Um, find a level which uh, has the most touches. One touch here, two touch here, three touch here. Switch it back somewhere here, okay? So what we did is uh, we just uh, put some buffer. Okay, if you watch our earlier videos, we always say that uh, we put our take profits just before the support and resistance level so that we can always exceed. Okay, in our advanced forex course, we talk about this concept that we never want to put our stop loss, uh, take profit, sorry, take profit exactly here. Okay, we always want to put it, you know, some pips before it so that we always get, you know, we always exceed. Okay, imagine in this case, if we had taken entry here and uh, just because, you know, we're a bit greedy, right? Greedy over the few extra pips. Uh, we put a take profit here, we have totally missed this trade. Okay, so don't be greedy, right? Use the levels, or uh, if the levels are there, take a, you know, like a haircut or rather put a buffer there so that you always exit. Okay, so this sums up uh, this analysis, this trade that we took. If you have a question about how we took this trade, uh, any other questions, why, uh, just comment down below, we will address it. Okay, if you have, right. Other questions not related to this pair, but like maybe you had a loss and you want us to analyze why it's a loss. Also, we're going to ask, okay, we love to help, but it cannot help if uh, we don't know what you need. Okay, till then, we'll see you in the next video.